Hello, my name is Zach Rissy, Product Specialist with New Leader Manufacturing. And in this video, I'm going to discuss how to start a job on your New Leader NL5000 G5 using a Raven Viper 4 as your display. As you can see here, I've got our UT screen, our New Leader ECU, and our main New Leader run page is up so to start a job you're going to come up here and it kind of looks like a play button right above the target rate we're going to go ahead and hit that and then hit start job now i'm on a simulator so i don't have gps so it's going to give me a few warnings here but it'll allow me to go into the job so again here at the top grower farm field you know feel free to Put that information in there if if you like that's that's totally at your discretion uh job name job profile guidance you know it always defaults to last pass yeah i typically change that to, to straight a b that's just how i typically like to run and then here po1 has been one po2 has been two so i'm going to put in a rate for bin one it's 250 pounds Put in a rate for bin two, uh, 200 pounds. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start the job just so you can see what this run screen looks like. So this is what I have our run screen looking like. I'm actually using the interactive widget here for, um, for our UT portion of it or for the new leader run screen portion. I've got the, the, the mapping over here I've got my PO1, my PO2 over here. One thing I want to make note of is notice up here, it used to say target rate one. Now it says TC, that stands for task control, meaning that the rate that we inputted when we started the job through the Raven display, that is pushing over rate information to us, which is why it says task control. So if I actually go to bin two, you'll see now task control 200 because that's what I put when I started the job. Bin one is task control 250. If you want to change that rate, you do not do it on the new leader portion. You're going to do it on the rate widget on the Raven side. So if you press and hold over here, it will bring up bin one and bin two. And this is where you're going to change your rate. So for bin one, I'm just going to go ahead and change it to 350 just so you can see that, accept it. And now you see I've got 350 pounds. Same thing uh, for bin two if you needed to change it for bin two. So that's how you would actually change the rate within the job. One other thing, because I get questions on this a lot. Remember, um, we typically have rate smoothing. So when you are gonna be spreading, your actual rate here will be smoothed. Okay, on the Raven side, on the rate widget, it is raw data. So that's just more for note purposes. Just keep in mind, um, you may think something's wrong because they don't look identical. That's, there's nothing wrong. That's just, that's just how it is. This is gonna show raw data always and we're gonna be smooth. So just be aware of that. Otherwise, this is typically how I lay out my run screen. So I've got my guidance widget here. Um, or my auto, I'm sorry, auto steer here, my guidance here, where I can set my ABs, um, my scout tool. So if I want to set like a hard boundary uh, around the field, you know, get uh, field acre, um, you know, in that, um, what I've spread, uh, acres applied on this job, typically pull that over, my ground speed. This is uh, nice here because you can bounce between anything that's on the bus, you know, so if I arrow over, um, I can go to anything that's on the bus. Now, on my example, I only have two things. It's the auxiliary switch box and then our new leader ECU. Uh, if you had an RS1, you know, slingshot would be on there. Your guidance would be on there. Steering could be on there. And that, that widget there allows you to quickly just toggle between all of those. And that screen would appear up here then. And you never lose any of your run screen, which is, which is why I really like the interactive um, portion of this display. So again, miles per hour left of that. This is our AccuBoom on your NL5000 G5. Make sure that it's on. 
<laughs> um, so make sure it's enabled. Again, I don't have GPS, so I'm not allowed to really do anything in here, but make sure it's enabled. Remember your off look aheads are down here, your on look aheads are down here. I always, I typically always do time. My off look aheads, I normally start somewhere around 0.5. My on look aheads, I normally start around 1.5. So that, those are just good starting points. <clears throat> if you're doing VRT, uh, your RX widgets here as well. Forward direction um, is there. This is typically anything and everything you would need uh, to run an NL5000 G5 on your Raven Viper 4. These are the widgets that I would, I would typically have up. There are additional ones that you can add if you would like to. You can customize these run screens however you see fit. And actually Raven has some really good videos out there on how to customize your run screens how to add and delete widgets, and I would actually refer you to, to their videos. So, um, so yeah, that's how you start a job with uh, your NL5000 G5 on a Raven Viper 4 display.